All right, what's going on everybody? This is Mr. Muscarella coming at you. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, and removable discontinuities, otherwise known as holes, using the Desmos graphing calculator. So let's go ahead and make sure we have Desmos opened up in another tab. Now here you can see I've got four folders and the first three folders, notice how the triangles are pointed. They're pointed at the words or the phrase NS 5.2 example one, blah, blah, blah. The very last folder that says NS 5.2 example one, V-A-H-A-R-D, that folder, notice that arrow is pointed down. All right, so when you go to add items to a folder, you wanna make sure that that arrow is pointed down. And then also the cursor is at the end of that line. That way when you hit enter, you'll see a line directly underneath that inverted triangle that means the item you're about to type in is gonna be in that folder. So in this particular function that we have, this rational function, we had a vertical asymptote at x equals negative two. And you can kind of see that from the graph. And we also had a y value for our horizontal asymptote. So make sure you put y equals, and that was a value of one fourth. So those are our two distinct asymptotes and then we had a hole we had a removable discontinuity at the coordinates so you're going to type the coordinates in parentheses two comma negative one sixteenth so you're going to put all of those pieces in once you have those in you can kind of see them show up on a graph a little bit but we've got to do some other things here first so you're going to go over and this is kind of a pain on chromebooks and devices that might the touchpad might be a little bit more sensitive or not as accurate but you're going to go over to this colored part of the line or the point you're going to click and hold on that and then eventually it's going to pop up with this other menu and you're going to change the lines to red and then dash. So those are gonna be the two things that you're going to do for any horizontal or vertical asymptote. And you're gonna make it red in a dashed line. Similarly, we'll go to our next one and notice sometimes it, it'll turn off. And if you do that, it won't allow you to do anything. So you have to make sure that the color is showing there in order to change color. So we're gonna make this one red and dashed. Now, the other one down here, our point, our movable discontinuity, that's already red, but we have to make it a hole, all right? So that is, if you look at the three options here for points, you've got a filled in hole uh, or the second one, and that's one we're gonna choose, that is going to make the point appear as a hole. All right, so that's what you have to do for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this folder up. Then we're gonna go ahead and look at our graph. So if we look at our graph, we can clearly see uh, the horizontal and vertical asymptote. And then over here at this coordinate right there, we can see, now there's a decimal equivalent uh, for that. So two and then negative 0 0.16 or negative 0 0.63. So that is the coordinate for the whole. And we can clearly see the y, uh, value the y equals one half that horizontal asymptote as well as the vertical asymptote at x equals negative two. All right, that's how you do that. So by now you should understand how to put in vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, and a removal discontinuity using Desmos. Please refer back to this video anytime you need to. Thanks so much for watching and you make it a great day. Always, because there's no good reason not to. Peace out, Cub Scout.